what's up welcome to a new diy by nosy london so today we're going to start with this jordan dunn inspired dress and i've drafted out the top literally freestyle this um on the bus and also included some darts which when i cut it out guys i completely forgot to include it so excuse me but here are all the pieces you're going to need i've already pre-cut them um i'm happy to do a video to show you how to cut these out but here we go there's two skirts um one two pieces for the front one for the back um a back piece and then there's the front piece and then there's two panels to go on top so the first step is to um attach the two front panels and then this kind of creates a split and we've top stitched the outside as well um and then we're just gonna work through and make the back and then make the front and then kind of like attach it together for a dress keep watching guys and then you will enjoy it just to include this fabric was quite limited it was at like the last um couple meters i had so there is a mark on the fabric but girl this fabric is so nice so i, I gotta leave it Just to explain how I got the panels, I basically retraced the front piece again onto like the back piece, the black piece onto the leopard print piece. Um, I then hand drafted out the curve, that's kind of at the front, um, and attached it from the point down and also attached the sides as well, and then left the bottom raw. Okay, we're going to attach the top and the front panel of the skirt together by the waist. This is where I would recommend anyone that wants to reduce um, the excess fabric, do it here. <laughs> Sis forgot, but this is where you really can take some in. Um, and once this is a straight stitch, this will cover up like the raw edge from the top and the skirt and it will be a nice flush finish. Bam, here we go, here we go. So any, any raw edge that you see, so the curve, the edge of the skirt and the edge of the top, I have zigzagged. The edge of the top also has facing, which is um, just to hide literally any stitch in front and back. Bam, this is the back of the skirt and the front of the skirt. So we're gonna attach one side, we're gonna get my clips. <laughs> we're gonna attach one side and it's really helpful to pin at like important places, for example, the waist, the armpit and the bottom. And this really helps you yeah, to line up everything. Once we finish clipping all of this down, it's just a straight stitch and including your seam allowance. Here we go, baby girl. We're gonna focus on the top now. And this is the panels that I wanna add some ribbon on the raw edge. I kind of extend it as a neck piece.
Okay, so I've added in some dots at the back, which look really nice. It fits amazing. And I need to make some changes to the top. I need to take this all out, take this out. I need to make um, the top, I need to bring up the skirt basically. And then this will go down over the skirt. Yeah, let's get some, oh. Right, the goal here is to take up uh, the top, make the skirt higher up, and then we have these like flaps over the skirt, then that's over here, and then we have that skirt and the back piece. So I have taken out um, the bottom of this flap being inside the skirt, because now it's gonna go on top of the skirt. And then it's gonna kind of hide the waistband and into this. Okay, we're on to some final finishes. I'm gonna insert invisible zip. You can check my channel on how to do that and yeah girl watch out as i forgot the darts i added pleats at the top um, and i hope it looks good Yeah. 